Good morning, Sunday. I hope you were able to spring forward. We lose an hour today, so if it's uh, eight o'clock, it's really nine o'clock. But right now it is eleven. Man, it's eleven o'clock. Okay, so got a lot to do today. I'm gonna run ten miles and then I'm gonna swim, bike, get ready for that Ironman. The Ironman is coming up April seventh. Then I have that bodybuilding competition coming up. This is what it looks like right now. Here's my morning coffee. I only have ten eggs today. I should have went to the grocery yesterday. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I wanted to have an even, an even dozen. So anyways, whatever you're trying to achieve in life, make sure you measure it. You have to measure whatever you're trying to achieve. Right now I have a bodybuilding competition coming up. I haven't signed up for it yet, but I have it coming up. So I'm constantly flexing and I'm constantly measuring what I need to do to improve. I'm constantly looking at my body, my bicep, my chest, my obliques, my back, just to sharpen the body. By the way, if you're not into bodybuilding, if you're not into natural bodybuilding, that's cool, I understand, but you have to remember this. Running and exercising to the body is what reading is to the mind. So all that means is you can't be healthy without a healthy body because the body and the mind are connected. You have to have both, all right? So let's see what I look like right now. Front, uh, this is the front double bicep, moving on to the most muscular. So here we go, front double bicep. It's getting better. It's getting better. The obliques aren't that great right now. Most muscular. I need to bench press more. Um, it's a little flat up here, but that's okay. I, I've just been getting ready for the Ironman and the Ironman is an endurance sport, it's an endurance activity. So like, um, you're never gonna see a champion endurance athlete also be a champion power lifter. The two just don't go together. Here's my back double bicep. So, I usually do these videos not just for other people so they can learn about bodybuilding and learn about achieving their goals, but also it helps me keep track of what I need to do to improve. These videos really help me keep track of what I need to do to improve. And check this out. This is a really good piece of philosophy that someone hit me with and I thought, how could you go wrong with this? The reason most people front yard the reason why the front yard looks better than the backyard is because the front yard is the side that people have to show you have to show your front yard to your neighbors and to the public everyone sees your front yard you understand that but the backyard no one really sees so people take care of the front yard because they're forced to show it so whatever you want to achieve whatever you're trying to get better at if you make sure other people are forced to see it you're gonna work harder at keeping it nicer better just like the body if you're forced to show whatever you are working on it will get better faster and quickly so so all to all those people who are posting their their selfies of losing weight and they're measuring how much weight they're losing thumbs up to you guys because you need to be held accountable and that's why the fr just look at people's front yard and compare it to their backyard the front yard always looks better because they're being held accountable by their neighbors i know my front yard always looks better because i don't want to have i mean i know my front yard always looks better because i don't want my neighbors to feel like hey this guy doesn't our neighbor doesn't care about how our community looks like so i work hard and um i, I hire a gardener sometimes to keep our front yard looking nice and tight meanwhile the backyard i have a big wooden fence that surrounds the backyard that no one really gets to see so it's not as nice as the front yard so Show off what you're trying to get better at, what you're trying to achieve, and that will create accountability. You need accountability. And that's why these videos help me. So here we go again with my front double bicep and then my most muscular and my back double bicep. So here we go, front double bicep.
Then the most muscular. And then the back double bicep. All right, while my food is cooking, I'm not making this up. I just exercise throughout the day, 10 minutes here, 15 minutes there, while my food is cooking on the stove. I'm lifting weights. I'm just lifting weights. So I'm gonna curl this about, I don't know, 50 times. It's a sledgehammer that weighs 16 pounds. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a sledgehammer that weighs 16 pounds. Can you see it? 16 pounds. Switch it up. Right? The cool thing about using a sledgehammer is you can change the angle of the weight. So look, you can move it here. When I played water polo at Fullerton Junior College, I had a hell of an arm to throw that water polo ball, and it was because of lifting weights. So anyways, you don't have to be a champion power lifter to enjoy the benefits of lifting weights. Anyone can enjoy, anyone can enjoy the benefits of lifting weights. You don't have to be an Olympian. It's just, it's like, it's like money. Lifting weights is like money. Anyone can enjoy money, right? Anyone. If someone wins a hundred bucks, they're gonna be happy. Same thing with lifting weights. Whoever you are, just lift weights in moderation, lift weights here and there, and you're gonna, and you're gonna reap the benefits. All right, eat healthy, be healthy, sleep well, live well, subscribe.